Nein, liebe Zuschauer, das hier ist no, dear viewers, this is not my new handbag. This is the newest innovation by Festool. That at least is what Frank says. Frank, to be honest, men have frequently promised me things in the past. What is inside this box? Before I show you what is inside this box, I would like to show you where the main problems are and why people need what is inside this box. All right. The following problem. You maybe know it. I don't know, maybe you've um, oiled or waxed products before. Some surfaces. Yes, well, I do have some balcony furniture and it's always a, a huge mess. Yes, that's what we at Festival have uh, also noticed. And uh, normally we use a brush and a beaker with uh, the different uh, applicants. Then everything gets all mucked up when you try to put oil or varnish onto a surface. And, and then you have you have leftovers. What do you do with it? You can't really mix it back into the, the oil can or whatever you had before. And it's, it's, it's really very mucky, dirty. You have the dried out brush that you have to then clean and and so on. It's really very, very Ach, awkward. So we're now going to open the box, are we? Nee. No. Nee. No, later. Nee. In a second. But there's this in the box. This is a bottle that has the oil inside it, which is built inside. And there's an adapter that I can join onto it. This looks a little bit like shoe cream, shoe polish. Yes, it is a bit like that. Um, when you apply the oil, you can also put on this sponge. Now it's clear, when I put the sponge on and have a little membrane inside and press on it, then it's very easy to spread the oil on the surface. Now let me try, or let us try, please. I really want to open the box, though. Okay, right, we'll start. Here I have the oil. Already, I've already used it here. And do you see the little membrane in here? Do you see it? Maybe it reminds you of a ketchup bottle or something. Yes, it looks just like that. And you just press, squeeze gently, dump some oil onto the surface, and then you can spread it out evenly on the surface. Would you like to try? Yes, I'd love to. I'll just give you the microphone. Just, just press gently. Yeah, and now just spread it out evenly onto the whole surface. It's just like cleaning in the kitchen. I'm quite good at that, actually. Oh, you do have to try a little bit harder. Look, there's a bit more on the side here. Is that better now? Oh, God, stop complaining. This is the first time I've done this. No, no, it's fine, fine. Okay, I'll do it at the front here. Now, you do have to spread it out evenly. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're, you're there for the fine work. When we've spread it out over the surface, the next step is the, the rubbing into the surface. And, of course, we have a system for that, too. We have a special system with a special surface. We'll put this back into the box and put the lid on it. So we shut it off, close it off, and put it back into the box, to the metal box. So it stays nice and damp. And even if I don't work with it for one or two weeks, um, the sponge is a little bit dried out, but I can put a new sponge in. Can we open up the box now, please? Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we open it, we have to rub in the oil first. And we have to use this machine. And this is your big part now. Oh, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. Just start the machine and just rub the oil in over the whole surface. That's right. Yeah, from right to left. Don't, don't be too advantageous. Oh, sorry. Oh, but this is fun. It vibrates a little bit. It's a bit like a hand massage. All right. Okay, okay, you're, you're getting there, you're getting there. Just wait a sec, I'm, I'll be a professional in an hour. Okay, that was it. So it's been massaged in, it's been rubbed in. So now we normally have to wipe it off to take off the excess oil. And then something for you. And, oh. <gasps> now we're going to open the box. Thank goodness. Oh, you can see what Rike has in her handbag. Look, here we have the sanding devices to prepare the surface, then the fleeces to rub the oil in, then the sponges. Uh, here we have the boxes, the metal boxes with the three different kinds of oils. We have not just one, but three different kinds of oils. One for the kitchen um, heavy-duty uh, counters, 
Then uh, for the second for one step for doors and things like that, and then the third is for outdoor for patio decks and garden furniture, for example, for your garden furniture. Well, to 98%, you've already convinced me with this box, but there is still 2% missing. Haven't you got nothing else? Oh, you're not going to stop, are you? Do you want to see it? Yeah, come on, let's have a look. Frank, what we just saw was a kind of um, wiping technology. Now this is a really highly complicated device. What is it? This is our fist tool. Don't XL cutter. It's an absolute novelty in the world. And it's being introduced now at the league now. People who know fist tool know that we have a domino system, a special connecting system. But so far it's always been maximum 50 millimeters. And if you have a look... Here we have our smallest domino dowel, and we've always had it um, available, and it's really sweet, isn't it? It's now got a big brother. Now we have the option, 14 centimeters length and 14 millimeter thickness. Uh, these dowels can be built into massive wood, stable wood, so for door frames and things like that. That would have been my next question. Why on earth do you need this kind of dowel? Well, for door frames, or for beds, tables, really solid wood constructions, I can I can use these dowels for that kind of thing. But I really want to see it in detail. Can you please show us it? Well, the problem is, a um, normal woodworker is very stationary when he has to work. He, he has to take all these huge pieces of wood to um, other uh, devices. It takes a lot of energy. And here we have mobile devices um, with which I can create very stable connections. You see I have this, this uh, special cutter here. It uh, rotates and oscillates. And I can change the settings. They can be individually adapted and activated. If I press the depth here, I can also use the presettings here. It's very, very easy. It really is a bit of a toy for boys, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Okay, now show us it, please. So we've now just done two cuts. Do the length cut now. We're going to put the machine on here. Now we're going to cut into the material. So that was it. Two big holes. Okay. I've just been waiting to say this. Yes. Uh, I was going to say there's a lot of muck, but there isn't really. We do have a special kind of extraction as well, um, but we do also save a huge amount of, uh, of material. There are about 3,000 holes that we can do with this kind of drill. I will unclamp it now and get rid of the excess dust that is still there. So here, Rike, we have the dowel. And stick this one on the other side. Ah, it's now your part. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, of course, the woman has to do the hard work. How far do I have to hit it in? I'll t that's enough, that's enough. That's fantastic. Oh, no one can complain that we don't have any muscles. Okay, now you stick both of these pieces together. Just adjust it, put it into where the hole is, and then just bang it in. And it fits perfectly. See, it's one connection, it's stable, and it's long lasting. You've convinced me. I, I admit it. Now I'm a fan of Festool, Frank, and a fan of yours, Frank. 